this idea that uh, policy interest rates that are controlled by central banks, the idea that they could be hitting zero and um, you know, that would then constrain the central bank from controlling the economy or influencing the economy, that was viewed as a theoretical case. Well, no one expected it to happen, especially for seven years in a row, and with, you know, with now with many central banks facing this situation, something we have to take seriously. What my research is basically is taking this idea that the economy can be hitting this zero lower bound, and then seeing if people think about that ahead of time, think it's possible, it becomes self-fulfilling and thereby can make the recession more severe than otherwise. So I just use a, a standard New Keynesian model, which actually has more than one equilibrium in it. One in which the central bank achieves its goals, and the other equilibrium is where this zero lower bound is binding. The central bank can achieve its inflation target, and shocks to the economy have very severe effects. If people expect um, inflation to be below the central bank's target, and, or if they expect that the, the zero lower bound will be binding, then they'll realize that the central bank won't be able to cushion the economy against shocks. And then so people will basically try to save and insure themselves against these bad events. And that will, in effect, cause the economy to slow down on its own. And so the deflation episode or the zero low bound episode can actually become self-fulfilling if people think it's going to happen. But when a central bank cuts the policy interest rate quickly to try to um, mitigate the impacts of the recession, that can actually, you know, that's actually you know, the correct policy and that can actually be very beneficial. But when they hit the zero lower bound, that, you know, that ability to cushion the economy against shocks is now limited. And so then um, the next time a shock comes along, the central bank won't be able to do anything about it. And then that, can, that shock can actually be very damaging to the economy. Well, one takeaway for central banks is that possibly try to do something to avoid hitting the zero lower bound in the first place. And one idea that's been put forward is to try to raise the central bank's inflation target so that there's more room to lower interest rate. And that, that by, do, by raising the inflation target, you raise the policy interest rate on average higher than it otherwise would be. And so the next time a recession comes along, there'll be more room to cut interest rates before hitting the zero lower bound. Now that actually, you know, it can actually work in the, some of the simulations I've done, but it's still, there's still a risk uh, if the recession is severe enough that even with, say, an inflation target of 4%, you can still hit the zero lower bound on a fairly frequent basis. And so that is not a cure-all, but it can certainly help. Another takeaway for researchers is that this equilibrium where the zero lower bound is binding and the central bank can't achieve its inflation target, that's something which has been kind of uh, de-emphasized in a lot of the research, and I think it's something that needs to be brought back into play for uh, for some of our modeling techniques. Thank you.